While colleges and universities across the country have announced vaccine requirements for students returning to school in the fall, the SUNY system is still waiting to decide whether to mandate it. Chancellor Jim Malatris says SUNY is monitoring vaccination rates among its students, with some campuses reporting over 50 percent and others under. He says the university system is doing everything it can to make getting the shots easy, including hosting mass vaccination clinics on 35 of its campuses. We're not seeing hesitancy as much as maybe some other institutions are. We've actually heard from our students, we're demanding, give us the eligibility of the vaccine. Let's see where we are early summertime. We'll make that determination. But I think ultimately our main goal is opening up the campuses. So if that's what we have to do to get there, that's what we'll do to get there. Binghamton University, meanwhile, is doing very well in its vaccination rate. A survey of about 7,000 students a few weeks ago showed that 80% had either been vaccinated or were in the process of doing so. Nevertheless, BU President Harvey Stanger believes it's imperative that the vaccine be required. I think by the fall, it has to be required. It really has to be required. We have an MMR requirement for students. This should be on the list. I know there's hesitancy. You don't want to make a put a burden on people. But when you look at the hundreds of universities across the country that have already stated it is required, we'll follow sooner, sooner or later, but we'll follow when SUNY's ready. After holding Johnson & Johnson vaccine clinics on campus, BU is now offering students free hourly shuttle service to the state mass vaccination site in Johnson City.